After sexist remark, Arvind Sawant finally apologizes. Arvind Sawant in a statement has said that never ever in his 55 years of political career has he insulted women. And his statement is being tweaked. He further adds that if someone got hurt with his, his statement, he apologizes and he gives full respect to that individual. Sawant has further said that only to take pol political benefits, this was done. He had no such intentions and he did not take any name as well. I know that एक दिन से बड़ा माहौल और भारतवर्ष में मचाया जा रहा है कि अरविंद सावंत जी ने किसी महिलाओं का अवमान किया जिंदगी में नहीं किया पचपन साल राजनीति में हूं अगर हुआ तो मैं उल्टा अग्रणी रहा हूं उनको सम्मानित करने में उसके में उदाहरण बहुत कुछ दे सकता हूं कैसे मैं अग्रणी रहा हूं लेकिन दूसरी तरफ मैं इतना ही कह सकता हूं जिस तरह से जो वक्तव्य हुआ वो वक्तव्य को उसका अलग अर्थ लगाकर जान बुझ कर मुझे टारगेट किया जा रहा है वो मुझे खेल लगता है दुख लगता है लेकिन फिर भी मेरे वक्तव्य से किसी की किसी को मन को ठेस पहुंची होगी तो मैं दिलगिरी व्यक्त करता हूं मैं उनका सम्मान करता हूं और मैंने कभी पिछले मेरे पचपन साल में अवमान नहीं किया आज भी नहीं करूंगा कल भी नहीं करूंगा Now before I get you more details on this story here's what UBT MP Arvind Sawant said that stoked this entire controversy leading to an FIR against him and the FIR says that he outraged the modesty of a woman Ya jindagi bhar wo bhajpa mein rahi ab kahi nahi to inke dusre party mein gayi aur ye important nahi chalta ya इम्पोर्टेड माल नहीं चलता हमारे यहाँ हमारे यहाँ ओरिजिनल माल चलता है ओरिजिनल माल है हमारा <laughs> उनकी हालत देखो ना भैया जिंदगी भर वो भाजपा में रही अब कहीं नहीं तो इनके दूसरे पार्टी में गई और ये इम्पोर्टेड नहीं चलता यहाँ इम्पोर्टेड माल नहीं चलता हमारे यहाँ हमारे यहाँ ओरिजिनल माल चलता है ओरिजिनल माल है हमारा चाइना एनसी ऑफ दी एन सी ज्वाइनिंग मी एट द मोमेंट मैम दी अपोलॉजी दैट यू वर सीकिंग Finally, here, how do you look at this? Hello, ma'am. Uh, can you hear me right now? Yeah, sorry, I'm in the campaign, so please tell me fast. Yes, I spoke with you a short while back. You said you wanted an apology from Arvind Sawant. The apology is here. How do you look at it? Well, I don't think Arvind Sawant has to apologize to me. He needs to apologize to all the women of Mumbai, Devi, when he has used this kind of terminology, saying "imported mal." He must apologize to the women of Mumbai, Devi. And look at the contradiction. You have Sanjay Raut who comes up and says that that he said nothing wrong. I want to ask: Isn't this the same Sanjay Raut who chooses to speak every two minutes to the media? can he not respect his own women in not just maharashtra but in mumbai to start with and to sit on commentary to say that oh this is political advantage please political advantage is that man who was standing next to arvind sawant who was laughing away i want to ask is this same mla amin patel would he have laughed if i was a woman of his own community would he have laughed and mocked anybody who belonged to his own uh, vote bank he chose to target and only show this kind of body language because i have come in and spoken up for the citizens of mumbai devi have questioned the kind of zero work done no cluster development congested atmosphere and and do you know please note Yesterday there was a huge fire in Kamati Pura. When I went at one o'clock, the MLP was not there, the MP was not there. So talk to me on issues regarding the constituency, and do not just try to cast every stereotypical woman as some kind of a sexist jibe. This is not acceptable. And Mr. Savan, apologize to the women of Mumbai, Delhi. What is what is your next ask, ma'am? What is your next ask from him? Look, I am here to work, and I am going to continue to do what I have been set out to do. I want to be the voice of my Mumbaiers 
the women in Mumbai, and I have got the blessings of Maa Mumbai Devi and the women of Mumbai Devi. I don't think it is for me to sit here and try and convert some people who have this misogynistic mindset, lack and devoid of any culture, to typecast women and dismiss them. I would have answered any question that Amin Patel or Arvind Savant or Sanjay Rao raised with Javis, the development of Mumbai Devi. But they have chosen to go along the side of objectifying women and treating them like items. And that to my mind, is the lowest of low. Ma'am, before I let you go, uh, since you filed that FIR, the apology is in. Will you be taking that FIR back? Well, it's for my party to also decide on this issue and I'm sure that my party will stand for the women of Mumbai Devi and let them decide what they feel should be the cause of action in the days to come. I thank you, Shaina NC, for joining us and sharing your thoughts. I'm going across to Saurabh Bhaktanya for more on this. Saurabh, we just heard from Shaina and say she's left for her party to decide what needs to be done with the FIR. The apology is in, but could you tell us what exactly is it that you get a sense of happened in the Shiv Sena camp once these comments came to the fore? Were they really under the pump and felt that with elections not too far away, we need to douse this situation, we need not... Let this matter escalate. Well, we need to understand this uh, incident by going back to the Lok Sabha elections. Uh, in the Lok Sabha elections, let me tell you, the in this particular Mumbai Devi constituency, Mumbai Devi constituency, uh, technically, when the votes were counted, the UBD Sena MP, Arvind Savan, got the majority vote. And let me tell you uh, that the uh, Mahayuti candidate did not got pro proper votes. And Amin Patel is a very uh, very old uh, politician over there. He is a seasoned politician. He has a very good background over there by China and she clearly is a South Mumbaiker. He has been, uh, she has been in this particular uh, region for quite a number of time, but this constituency is his first time uh, contesting elections and let me tell you a narrative which has been said by the MBA clearly says that Amin Patel is from this particular Mumbai Devi constituency itself he is the sitting MLA whereas China NC is an outsider. So this narrative has been tried to be said by the MBA and when this statement which comes on from Arvind Savan it was somewhere down the line was going to hurt the MBA in its campaign because let me tell you after this particular statement by uh, Arvind Savan that there were several social media posts. In fact, this post was made viral by the Mahayuti. This was going to the people and MVA never wanted to get itself heard with this particular statement. In fact, arrested and FIR was also filed and therefore internally through MBA it was decided that let's resolve this entire issue. This issue, this statement should not escalate and also let me tell you this FIR should not harm Arvind Savant in any way and therefore looking and considering in this entire elections and therefore MBA should not get hurt, this apology comes forward because then in the morning also let me tell you that how Sanjay Rao defended Arvind Savant. He clearly said that when an outsider is coming here, then it's we say that Bhar Kamal. So clearly Sanjay Rao was defending, but now this statement coming from the MBA leader, the UBT Sena MP Arvind Savant, clearly apologizing to this entire statement which was made by him against China and see it is clearly uh, a very well planned thing by MBA that it should not hard the, uh, harm the candidature of uh, Amin Patel and therefore this apology, ap apology come uh, a, a, two, a day after the FIR is filed. Rob, uh, thank you so much for bringing us all those details. Uh, I believe you're tracking the story as this continues to snowball. I'll leave it there and I thank you once again for all the details.